Okay then, this is Gray from Metal Power TV talking to Bludgeon from hey. South End. Yeah, that's, is it Zach, Chris and Tim, isn't it? That's yes. it. In that order, right. So you've been going for fucking ages now. How did you get time. together? Uh, me and Tim, I guess, started in 96. Um, just fucking around, you know, nothing serious. And we did a few demos and we did a split CD that came out in 2005. An Australian label, and uh, since then, you know, is that the freeway thing? Yes, the freeway yeah. thing. Yeah, with Twitch and Corpse Carving, and you know, since then we've been gigging. We've recorded a little bit more. We got a promo out, so yeah, that's the, the latest two twenty thirteen one. Yeah, that's it, dude. Yeah, just trying to keep active, and we did, did a show tonight, so yeah. it went cool. We're all exhausted. And you ready to? Uh, Quite a, few, quite a few people out of, like in the lineup over the years, and yeah, you, you, you were just trying to get a drummer. You still haven't got a drummer, and all the time I've known you. Have you ever had a drummer or a sniff of a drummer yeah, come in within the interest? Yeah, stage we had a drummer. Yeah, but um, it didn't work out, so we just thought we'd carry on regardless, you know. Yeah, it was, I, it was either you know stick with the machine and, and write what we want to write, or compromise yeah. and get some junkie in who you know can't yeah. play for shit. So yeah. we'd rather you know do what we're doing and. I think that, like from like listening to you like over the years, the fucking the drum machine is now part of the sound. It adds yeah. the fucking bludgeon yeah. element. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, like uncompromising yeah. fucking, you know, bludgeon, and you fucking play all this technical fucking guitar stuff over top of it and bellow your lungs out. It's fucking, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's part it does, it does of the band, isn't it? It does so. Have, have you named it? Uh. The fourth <laughs> member of your band. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you can name it, Greg. Go on. Go on. Good name. Go on. Clunky Tom. Clunky Tom. There we go. I'm actually going to get a sticker made up with that on it. Yeah. On it, so. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you had a bass player, by the way. I haven't got a bass player now. That's uh, that no, problem. It's not been really a, bit of a revolving door bassist. I mean, yeah. We understand it, you know, it's when you're playing a lot of different. Lovely oh, bit of. Lovely bit of life. Yeah. Army, bro. Soldier, no ass, anyway. <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> you might want to pause it. Oh, I might want to get that in. Can be some bloodshed. Yeah, I might have to film it. When yeah, idiots no, get one over. It's been a bit of a revolving door. We understand that. Yeah. You know, playing technical death metal is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> no. And there's, apart from you know playing the odd live show where okay, let's go. cool people like yourself turn up and, and get into it, then. <laughs> Yeah. You know, there's not a lot of rewards for playing death metal. Everyone knows that, so, you know. Yeah. I don't know, we're cool as a free piece. If someone comes along who can play it, then yeah. Of Is it the first time it. you've had a second yeah. guitarist? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just like you added a new element when you came in, yeah. You've uh, been. I was playing in a mild band under Bleeding Eyes, and that's when I first met Zach. And he asked me to join then, but yeah. at the time, I said no because I just wanted to do one band. I didn't want to do two bands. But yeah. That band um, fell apart basically, and then luckily enough, I, I bumped into Zach one day down the high street, and he was like, "You know, the offer still stands if you want to try out for Bloodshot." And here I am. Today. Had you heard them before? Like you see yeah, them live and yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I come down to a couple of the shows before. Did you had the speed in the fingers to get to keep up with Tim because these fucking not, fingers not go like fucking with, no. I think it's more like different level. styles, really, wasn't it? Yeah, like, definitely. You, yeah, you used definitely. To I mean, he had the speed. There's no doubt about that. Just yeah. different styles, and if you join yeah. in different bands, play different. You know? Yeah. Just, yeah. But, um, so, what subject yeah, matters do you sing about then? Anything dark, really, from you know rape and murder, necrophilia, um, cannibalism. You know, it's, it's it's death metal. There's no point in trying to be nice about it. No. You're, it's the musical equivalent of a nasty horror film, so you know I want to keep it nasty. Um, yeah. I don't know. You would get that bloke in as a backing singer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was quite good. <laughs> if he comes back, he might be an album cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the first song you played tonight? Because I'm going to uh, mix clips up of the interview with the, the song that you played that, live. So that was actually an old song that you know we we reworked it a little bit drum wise. Um, it's called Erogenous Catamania. Right. Um, I think we wrote that sort of back in 2000. It's around about that sort of time. So what exactly is Erogenous Catamania when it's at home? Erogenous Catamania means um, somebody oh. who's getting sexually excited by like uh, menstrual periods and, ah, and stuff like I that. See. So, Interesting. Yeah. We've all been there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit of blood support. I was probably sexually put off by him. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, but there you go. Oh, these eyes will deceive you. They will 
soldier of the evil. They will take from you your innocence, your pride, and eventually your soul. These eyes do not see what you and I see. Behind these eyes one finds only blackness, the absence of light. These are the eyes of a psychopath. Other than uh, like, did you hang out? Like, did you like practice? Like, how often do you practice? Like, weekly? Week, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, once a week. we all, you know, meet up and write new shit. And 
Yeah. Was that around each other's houses or your studio yeah. you go to? Yeah, around each other's houses and you know, with the sort of the complex thing that the band is, we all have like Guitar Pro because we're never going to remember these riffs. You know, yeah. Some of them are silly, <laughs> yeah. So. We've embraced the new technology. We used to write yeah. riffs on bits of paper and you know, make a collage and sort of think what worked. But now it's all, you know, Guitar Pro, because we're using a drum machine, yeah. you know, you're always thinking of the structure anyway for the drum. So now Guitar Pro works really well with it because it's all MIDI. It's all tracked, like the syncing is tracked through MIDI. So, you know, we can write on Guitar Pro and we can just go, right, there we go, that bars this time, signature, that to be put in. So, you, so a lot of things are changed in the, in the making of the music yeah, over the years, well, isn't it? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, sense, even in the yeah. fucking promotion of the music. Like, fucking, you started, fucking, how long, how long ago was it? 20 years, was it, or something? You fucking started? Before we met up, didn't we? Yeah. So, like, no, yeah, so it was originally Edible Vomit, wasn't it? Yeah, and uh, as Gray said earlier, which I forgot about Carnivian. Carnivian, yeah. The yeah. Demon of Masturbation. Yeah, I, I don't know, yeah, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. forget that one, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Good band name, as well as no one else has used it yet. No, no. <laughs> but um, yeah, cause, so since then, like, there was no fucking, it was all tape trading back in them days, wasn't it? There's no yeah. fucking, you're everything, well, eh? Me and YouTube. you, especially, man. We, yeah. we traded all sorts of shit with each other over the years. And then back to when, you know, I, even I used to drink, and that was a long time ago. Yeah. Then, so. No, it wasn't that, that, time, that time I came over to yours and we all got pissed up. That wasn't the last time you drank, was it? I didn't put you off forever, I think. You didn't see the full day. I woke up the next morning, I, I was really a... sore. <laughs> 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 I was that wasn't where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more of the fact you right for whatever fucking fat drunken cunt. I ain't gonna bend up like that. <laughs> I'm gonna stop drinking now. <laughs> hey, what, was, what was the second song on the set tonight? Uh, before the Taxi Dome Begins. Right. That's something that uh, Tim contributed. Uh, a little bit on that, but he was writing a song of his own at the time. So me and Chris pretty much wrote that song, just me and him. And uh, quite a new that, one. Then. That was like a new era of Bludgeon, really. It was like Chris's first song that he'd written with us. And, um, yeah, that one's lyrically, you know, quite sick. Right. Uh, I are. think we spent time before that, sort of um, playing a lot of old stuff, and then yeah, that was sort of the first. With the three of you, the first, first one of the three of you. Yeah. How do you go about writing it? Do you write, like, do you two come together and decide, or do you make one up? And... Sometimes we'll sort of write sections on our own and put it together, or mm. other times, like, like we're saying, like, that song, Chris and um, Zach wrote, the majority of that one, and the next one I pretty much wrote. And then you come in and do the lyrics and put the yeah, lyrics I mean, to it? Yeah, we all, you know, write our own little bits. And, yeah. and then once it's down on sort of the, the actual structure, it's down, we'll bring it down to the studio, start putting the drums in, getting the structure right. definitely saved a lot of time yeah. using Guitar oh. Pro. Did you did you have a, an album record at one point? I thought I had really had an album record and you were trying to shop it around to, studio, to labels and that. Did that happen or...? It, it started. Uh, we got two songs fully like recorded and some other stuff that just never completed. We got really unlucky in the studio. We had um, we had obviously our valves on the heads all, all redone and one of them failed and wow. intonation on guitar, one of them went funny. Then the drum machine, because it's an old... Clunky model, Tom. Clunky Tom. <laughs> it got clunky. Yeah. I don't know, the time signatures on it aren't exactly 100%, so when it run through Pro Tools, it didn't match up with the bass tracks we'd already recorded. Oh, right. So we were losing so much studio time. Because uh, yeah. well, it's an older version, because it's an Akai, and it was like built 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. The, um, the actual um, syncing element of it was like 0 .001 out or something on each, on each BPM. Right, so, and it all fucking adds up by the end of the song, I take exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it, it was probably up. only like two or three seconds, right? Yeah, but yeah but it still makes a difference. It's, it's a lot. When well, it's as technical as that. you're doing, exactly. yeah. yeah. We spent a lot of time rectifying that. So. Coming home at night, staying up for two, three hours at night at home, yeah. and then going back to the studio and stuff. Recording, it was 38 degrees in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got two finished tracks, so... Um, it was, really it, it good. was a and good then, experience then, to, to go to a, like, a real professional the guys, studio. Um, yeah. Yeah. Since and then the guy's building his own studio now, isn't it? Okay, so it's where was I? A bit more now, so we're waiting for his sort of studio to be finished. No, they're yeah. definitely wrong. You want to go to left? <laughs>
<laughs> well, it was me. Let's just move on to the third song then, because uh, what, what was the third song tonight? The third song is called uh, Cattle Prod Episiotomy. And that means. Cattle uh, Prod, what are you mean? Episiotomy. Oh, it's, right. uh, so an episiotomy skin... is a medical procedure that is used to when a woman can't give birth, so they make a slice to induce. Right. Um, and, well, basically, someone's using a cattle prod to, right. to, to reduce labour. But is it? not oh. a labour, well, it's the labour of a stillborn. So right. It's not a, a nice subject. But, <laughs> but it's all death metal. It's death metal. Yeah, yeah that's, it, that's it. <laughs> So anything else you want to let's just get the wrapping it up now as well because uh, we've got all three songs in there and uh, probably be really quiet now. <laughs> right, but well, anything else you want to add? You know, you've, got, you've got your Facebook and uh, yeah, we've got Facebook people can come on Facebook and check you out. Yeah, yeah just so. yeah, we've got some merch for sales and new shirts. And oh yeah, two different designs and like promo two track. So. Check it out. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Who's yours today? <laughs> yeah, excellent. What's the back screen? Is it devoted to lunacy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. It, so. Good stuff. And you got like any Reverb Nation or Bandcamp or anything like that? Any downloads people can do? Or uh, we've got a U YouTube channel, and yeah. I mean, I don't know if you can download from that. I don't think you can, but you can check it out. Yeah, you just go yeah. And stream it. Well, they can go, go buy the promo. 
contact us. contact well, you on Facebook for promo. Facebook, yeah, combine yeah. promo. We're just selling it to quick. Cool. Pound the track. We're setting up a big cartel as well now. So. All right. Cool. So any, what are any any gigs set up or gigs coming up? We've got one layer in a year which we can't talk about because it's not been. Oh, I've not been finalised yet. Yeah, yeah, but um, hopefully something in between then, you know, whether it's in London or, or wherever. We'll play wherever. You yeah, know. but no, nothing in South End because you was, you was the man for the South End scene, weren't you, for a while? It's uh, it's too much, too much money to keep laying out. Yeah. We'll play where we can, but obviously, you know, when you're losing. And if the right tour comes up, you know, it might be yeah. worth throwing some money behind it, but. When you're losing money, it's not fun, is it? So, no. um, it's the right tour, you know, we'll put a sail on down there. Yeah, definitely. Cool. All right then, anything else? Nothing else? Thank can you, I just, Metal Perv. Yeah, Fuck cool. Can I just get you to say, right? This is just something stupid that I do at the end of every interview. Can you say Metal Perv TV, all metal, no plastic? Go on. All together? Or? Yeah, all together, go on. Metal, metal, metal Perv TV, TV, all metal, no plastic. plastic. Excellent. <laughs>